Hello, good evening. Welcome to the Carla and Raynell Show. I'm Carla Gordy Bristol. And I'm Raynell Saunders. And happy Wednesday, everybody. Thanks happy, for joining us. Happy hot <laughs> Wednesday, I would say, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're <laughs> feeling the heat. And we're on the road, out on location, and it is a bit hotter where we are than I'm used to. <laughs> I know. Lately. This so. is true, and my my car was so hot when I got into it. It was it took ten minutes for it to cool off. And oh my usually gosh! Usually it does it in a, you know like two minutes. I just open the windows, release the hot air, and I'm good to go. Today it was like no hot air was like what? Right. <laughs> I'm going there nowhere. waiting. Like I'm not leaving. Exactly. Yeah, it's played, but we like it. I, I mean, I do at least. I, I'm enjoying the warm weather. I don't typically like very, very hot weather, mm -hmm. but I'm enjoying the fact that we're having some warm weather. Exactly. Yeah. It's good. Well needed. It's really, really good. Because mm -hmm. we know very that neat. summer's coming, like we said last time. Ooh, I tell you. definitely so, on the way. I'm going to start out with a nice toast. All toast right. to everyone watching. A toast to my wonderful co-host. Ding. And a toast to our upcoming guest who will be with us shortly on the show today. We have a guest, um, our returning relationship mm -hmm. expert. Right? Back by popular demand. Absolutely. I mean, people just were sending the questions <laughs> in. We had to delay the show today because mm -hmm. some people were just, we had to add some questions to the list. And, yeah, because yeah. of stuff like I, I put a little post on your page to let them know to get ready because some of these things I know have blown my mind yeah things that I have never heard before in the way that I've heard it before it is definitely something brand new that you have never heard before and if you have yeah. then lucky you then you've been, yeah. you've been living real exactly. well with that information because it's no. really um, beneficial right to life I would and say love. so I'd say it's a great topic it's something that we all have to live with um, a variety of relationships that we engage in mm -hmm. and we need some direction no matter well, what we've exactly. been through how old we are <laughs> We are, exactly. I know I can use it, right? <laughs> you know, older, we do get wiser, but we don't know everything. We definitely can always learn something to make it better and better. Yeah. And this is what I feel like we brought this element. Yeah. In something that can make it so much better. All you have to do is apply a new thought, a new way of thinking. Something, Absolutely. Something really so just, good. I would say get your notepad ready. <laughs> Because you're going to jot down some of these little notes, have your questions ready, and start sending them. If you have any type of relationship questions, start sending them in. Yeah, absolutely. So before we get to our guest, who's going to be coming on set soon, um, I will. I have a, a, a monitor here where I can take your questions during the show. So we will actually have interactive question Q and A during today's show. We bring it, we're bringing <laughs> it back. A lot of people have also asked for us to, you know, have yes. questions answered during the show. And so we're, we're starting to bring that back. All what right. do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I think that's absolutely wonderful. I'm I hope you do. Is it were, as long as we're, I'm make sure I'm, we're I'm, on I, and popping. I popping. know. I'm, I'm just talking. <laughs> make sure just. we're on and popping because this is going to be um, an amazing journey, uh, part two. And if you were there the first time, you know, and you all could, you know, always go back and look at our uh, page from about, what, five, six weeks ago? It was about ago. six weeks, actually. Yeah, six, six weeks, weeks ago, ago. today. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you uh, check it out, because even after this show, there are so many things there that you can learn that were very helpful, enough to make everybody want our special guest to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so cheers to, to all of you. Yeah, it's my and, life. um... Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot going on, but I, you know, I've got a little hot steam coming out right now. Okay. Because our honorable Congresswoman Maxine Waters uh -huh. has been verbally attacked in a way, I would say, by uh, Bill O'Reilly. Oh, And I'm no. just, you know, it, it's... It's calm and peaceful and kindness that we spread. Some mm. things just ruffle your feathers a bit. Wow. But did you hear what, what he, he... No, He has I said... Not. Oh, my God, when you hear... Wait, you get, everybody's <laughs> focused on Raynell's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> he... Okay, so she was speaking on the floor, and he was on a TV show looking at the, the footage with, um, I don't know, someone, and they asked him what did he think about what she just said, mm -hmm. which was really some great comments. And, you know, Maxine Waters, yeah. you know that she's very um, um, aggressive and, 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 and yeah. really hits the facts. Mm -hmm. So the guy said, so what'd you think, Bill Riley, about you know, what she said? He said, well, actually, uh, I wasn't even listening to what she was saying. I didn't hear it because I was focused on her James Brown wig hair. No, he did. Yes, he. Do you see that? I love no, it. he did not. Oh, he's focused on the James Brown hair. That is beyond rude. Yeah. 
and stupid mm -hmm. because really is that really yes. that's where his mind is I'm that he can't you. concentrate on serious right. issues because right. he's looking at you're somebody's distracted hair? from a hair now he's you know I, he's, he's known for many many ridiculous outbursts oh absolutely i just so it's all over social media oh, the news media goodness. is going on um I mean, just a CNN news anchor was very aggressive about it. I mean, oh, everybody's wow. been very upset about I've this. I've been under a rock today, and, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then even Maxine Waters posted, of course, crazy. that no one's going to shut her up. She's not going anywhere. Exactly. And she's very, very, uh, she's been, what, one of the longest, the, probably the longest standing mm -hmm. female congresswoman. So well, um, don't mess with Maxine Waters. I, I'm, I'm just telling so you, but that guy, he's, you know, he's done something. He's the one that caused, remember when Whoopi and mm -hmm. Joy walked off the view yes, because of him? That's right. He was being he was on such a, a jerk. I'll say yeah. that. He was a guest that's on the show. That's my opinion. Yeah. That he okay. was being a jerk. Right. And I watched it. Yeah, and they walked off. They, you know, who wants to sit and listen yeah. to somebody who's ridiculously spouting things that don't have anything to do? It's beyond an opinion. Right. It's like, it's, it's, it's not nice. You know, it's, it's not. Mean. It's not. But then he gave an apology. Apology. And mm -hmm. in his apology, he's laughing. <laughs> and you could very clearly see he was not sorry about what he said. Wow. And it was just like a statement, but he was chuckling through it like what he had done was so hilarious. It, it's just, but. You know, all you know, I can say, and I like so. to say this because it's true and I see it so many times and, and you don't have to do anything to anybody. Yeah. Um, but karma. Yeah. is a you know what right and that's all I got to say okay. because anybody who's like that look at how they're living and you know wouldn't trade it in for well, anything exactly but I, I'm glad she stood up for herself and said something but you it's, it's almost hard to respond to somebody like that that says something so stupid it's like it doesn't yes. even you know what I mean right. it's like your 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 mind can't even get down to that mm. level you know so like Michelle Obama said when they go low we, we go, go high, high. And we just need to stay there because there's a lot down there. <laughs> there's did, a lot of low stuff down there. Did you just there. tell our viewers to be high? No. <laughs> well, if I did, I'm on my way. <laughs> She's high on life. High on life. No, I was going to say life. <laughs> that too. <laughs> See? I'm sorry. This I is just, only my second I, sip. I am I, naturally like this, so don't think it's the ah, 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 at the heart. I couldn't let that go. It's just, you know, <laughs> some things just present themselves in front of you, and you have to go ahead and just, you know, enjoy the moment. <sighs> um, so for myself, recently, what have I been up to, you ask? I did, didn't I? In my mind, we're I, psychic we're now. We're so in tune, and I could, I could sense it. Um, well, last night I was at the... Um, Academy of Arts and Sciences building, mm -hmm. Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences for the Beverly Hills uh, installation of the mayor and city oh. council. The two new members I've talked about right, voting exactly. and all. So nice. it's all official. They're in. They've been up at the seat. They've been installed. They swore in. Everything's nice. great. Nice. Lily Bossy is back as mayor of Beverly Hills. And because of Lily Bossy, I can really say mm -hmm. the theater was packed. Wow, that's I've been great. to several of these. I've mm. never seen it this crowded. <laughs> they love having oh, her back. Oh, they love huh? having her back as mayor. <laughs> Nothing like having a leader in mm -hmm. your city that your city and your community is just excited about. Yeah, that she did moves so many them. Good things. Oh, yeah. She, she was brought, doing the walk, right? Yeah, okay. she did the walk with the mayor. She she deemed it the Beverly Hills Healthy City, so mm -hmm. she did the walk. She did um, lunch and learns, healthy lunch and learns, where they had speakers mm -hmm. talk about your health and what. I mean, just a variety of things. Yeah. And so she's going to continue with those. Mm -hmm. The walk start back on Monday. Um, I'll be doing the warm-up leading everybody. She asked mm -hmm. me to come and do that. Um, and so we're going to be healthy wow, continuing good. again in the city. And now she's added two new programs to it. Mm -hmm. And um, so it, it's just going to continue to get better and better and better and better and better. Okay, so well, good for you. That's what I was uh, enjoying and, and, and having a good time doing Fantastic. last night with, with my community bonding and <laughs> enjoying my community. Yes, well, lovely. Uh, well, I had a little story. I didn't Did have you know. much. I mean, I've been going and doing the plays. Like, mm -hmm. I'm always going to see some plays, and yeah. it's a, a wonderful thing to be able to do that. And I do appreciate and enjoy good theater. Mm -hmm. And I've seen some good, seen some <laughs> bad, but this was good this week. Yeah, I only talk um, about the good ones. Exactly. Now, what I wanted to say, because this was something that really, out of all the stories I wanted to do, this is really important. Um, this is from The Hollywood Reporter mm -hmm. that um, George Lucas, mm -hmm. the wonderful oh, George yeah, yeah. Lucas, mm -hmm. um, his family foundation has given the second diversity endowment. 
uh, of $10 million to the USC nice. School of Somatic Arts. And Exciting. this is a very generous gift. Very generous. And <laughs> it offers priority financial aid consideration to African American and Hispanic and students. Mm -hmm. And the USC School of Cinematic Arts remains committed to making student support a priority. And Isn't I that great? Think, I love George just Lucas. Love him. Um, not just he because, and his wife. Yeah, his wife is very active in the in the yeah, community. And they do a lot, not just you know, and it's usually a lot of the stuff they do isn't like a big announcement. It's not, you know, it's stuff that they just do silently and people, you know, yeah. in the community know. Mm -hmm. But this is a huge thing. And I think they, they do deserve to get um, some kudos for continuing the good works um, and allowing students to participate and, and excel right. in the arts, which is what, you know, At he's made point. a lot of that money from, yeah, yeah. from, uh, from movies and, Here, and being in the arts. So, yeah, George, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to find every opportunity to, to take care of you. <laughs> thank you. No, I think that's wonderful. And you and your wife, um, Melanie. Is that her name, Melanie? Yes, um, my wife is very that. active in, in yeah. giving, so yeah. nothing like a good giving couple. Exactly. Good so. giving couple. Love it, love it. Yeah. Where are the girls of D.C.? The girls? The missing girls. Oh, the, I know, girls. the missing girls. I thought it was a new reality the, show. The girl, <laughs> yeah, it could. It's reality, it might, might turn into one, but this is not a good story. So in mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., the you know many, many girls have been yeah. stolen, and in my opinion, is the word I'd use, but they're just disappearing. Mm -hmm. And so you, you'll see everybody putting pictures up on their mm -hmm. social media saying, you know, focus on this. Mm -hmm. Why are we not hearing about this on the news? Exactly. But we hear about this ridiculousness coming out of the White House. We hear about all these other comments that people want to make mm -hmm. and movies and all. But there are some literal living beings that have been taken. Yes. And the FBI is supposedly working on it. Um, just got a report from NBC that there are some girls that were found between oh, the ages mm -hmm. of 15 and 17. Mm -hmm. Another source said that these are basically runaways mm -hmm. doesn't matter you know no they still need to be found doesn't matter if whether they're other runaways people or were not. running away somebody would be looking for them yeah, so yeah. just because they might be runaways exactly. that's a reason to not yeah. look for them well but, isn't it true though they had the the mayor of dc i believe um formed a task force yes. after a lot of pressure after a lot because of pressure this has been going on for a while this is not new no it's just that what's new is that they finally started asking that question what you just said let, on that note let me add in since the beginning of 2017 mm -hmm. the first First three months of it, there were 501 cases reported of missing girls. That's great. 501 the first three months, and there hasn't been any hoopla. You didn't know this, did you? Why not? Wow. I mean, you don't wait till it gets to that kind of number to force the government yeah. to start then taking action. So why do we think that 500 I, girls can go missing and nobody makes a stink when one person let's say can go something missing? Else. One person, but let's say they're black girls. Okay, that makes, okay. that would make sense then. It's white, okay white. to take the black girls and yeah. not have any hoopla? What I don't yeah. understand this. But one little white blonde girl, I, I hate to say, yeah. would be all over the world it would, would be looking for her. Yes. Every one re rescue one. department will exactly. be out searching. And if you find that that is untrue, then please let me know. Yeah. Because every time that we see nationwide searches for a, a, a missing child, right. will it be, you know, male or female, mm -hmm. if they're white, the whole world knows about it. Oh, yeah. It. If they're black, what, we don't find out for months. I'll we don't even yet. know. So, so much so that 500 of them are gone before anybody even gives a damn. I'll up one. Let there be a missing puppy. Oh. Hasn't okay. that happened? Right? Hasn't that happened? Let there be a missing puppy. The whole community will be out looking for that dog. Wow. The whole city. Right? I know you guys agree. I hear, I see the black laugh over there. matter. To our viewers. Thank you. Yeah. To somebody. Oh, and that's what they said even the not the Black Lives Matter, but the um, All Lives Matter organization didn't even get involved or, or because they're full of crap. If they don't care, that's why the whole point of the Black Lives Matter that was the right. whole debate that's, about yeah. it. You can't say All Lives Matter yeah. and it's the same thing. It's not the same. You right. don't have to say your lives matter. We know your lives matter. Right. If you're not black or mm -hmm. you're not Hispanic, we know your lives matter right. because what we just said because yeah, if one of you goes missing everybody's looking for you but yeah. everybody else can just disappear and nobody cares no, no it's it's just i would say that in the maxine story they're just frustrating stories after yeah. story after story and so hopefully our guest will be able to tell us how to find peace and calm in all this i mean it's just just really um 
a sad, sad situation. It makes you want, I mean, like Katrina. It reminds me of a yeah. Katrina. Makes you want to so, holler. Makes you want to holler. Isn't that why like that Uncle song Marvin was written? Said, yeah, makes Uncle you want to holler. Gave, it said Throw it up made, both your hands. He knew how, yes. Let's all do that for a minute. Just maybe we should start a movement. Makes you want to holler, throw up your hands mm-hmm. until things start changing. Maybe we should all do that. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, all let's right. all pray for these girls that they all are, are found and, and um, okay. But I, yes, I, and then I saw something. I don't know if it's legit or not, but that they found a, a cargo um, um, ship that was the girls were there about to be mm-hmm. shipped off mm. out of Savannah, Georgia. So I really? didn't get to follow up and get you know validation on that wow. story. And but I was off heard where that they found, found them supposedly uh. in a big cargo um, unit, and they were about to ship them off. Yeah, wow. for sex trafficking, of course. You know, it's ridiculous. Okay. Okay. So, so that's that's just our venting moment yeah. of some very serious issues going on and I see you Zerny and, and um, Bonzi thank you so much for tuning in we appreciate it hi Wanda good evening to you as well thank <laughs> you thank you live. and Bud G <laughs> Bud G we are in the house again I see you every okay. week so that's good you know we'll get to the guests because we're running out of time we are going to go over 30 minutes because our guest always has lots of good things to say absolutely but um march madness is in the final four and we've been pushing oh. it we, we can't let it go because every week we've been talking about march madness okay and so we're team. down to the so t- we're so down to our final four all right tell me my team so it, tell your team uh, <laughs> whose team's made it um so the 2017 men's final four starts on saturday the first so make sure you're watching it and we have Gonzaga and South Carolina will be meeting in the first game. Oh. And then North Carolina will face Oregon in the second. Oh, So there wow. you go. Okay. For the men, I know it's pretty exciting. And, and a lot of these the are women? making it to their first time in the Final Four. So I they're know. beyond excited. I've never excited. Even heard of that other. And a lot of these games are just so tight, nail biters. And then for the women's, um, starting on March 31st, Dallas. In Dallas, mm-hmm. the South Carolina Gamecocks mm-hmm. face the Stanford Cardinals mm-hmm. and UConn Huskies. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> UConn my home Huskies. Girl, yep. Those are my home girls. UConn's hanging tough. Yeah, Strong, good. I should say. All right. And they will be um, going up against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Okay. So, Some yeah. exciting weekend. Very exciting. Up, huh? So I had to let it go because, you know, we want to get the update on that. So I was not going to continue definitely. without getting that in there. All right. So. Well. I guess it's time. Time just flies by. But we are going to introduce our guests now. Oh, wait a minute. Now, are these, um, these are some of the questions, aren't they? They are. These are some of the wonderful questions. This is page two. I got... All right. Well, I grabbed the wrong page. Oh, you need. Oh, I need his intro. Oh, All right, well, that's okay. It's it's rather long. I won't be able to read the whole thing, but <laughs> let's here. just start somewhere. Dr. Rael Sims, relationship expert. Here we go. This is a mouthful. Mm. A cognitive neuropsychologist, behavioral and motivational speaker whose passion is analyzing why we do what we do from an eco bio psycho social spiritual point of view. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he's got, you know, um, he's got. He's a leading authority on the neuroscience of relationships. Uh, Rael integrates the disciplines of cognitive neuropsychology, biology, anthropology, and body language to teach youth, adults, and corporations how to make wise relationship choices. We all need to make wise choices. He is also a licensed and certified counselor, marriage facilitator with Prepare and Enrich and the Relationship Coaching Institute. He served as the official relationship coach for the Hirsch Group and the Tavis Smiley Foundation. He's also a member of GGI, a network of neuroscience researchers, who knew, (laughs) um, and works as a relationship advisor for the entertainment industry and has been featured in numerous publications and media programs, including Essence Magazine and National Public Radio. And we bring to our set right now, Dr. Rael Sims. Yes. So excited to have you. Oh, welcome. Yes. Welcome, Thank welcome. You. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So wow. here you go. He is here Get again. Highly we are so happy. in high demand. 
<laughs> wow. People loved having you last Very time. Very exciting. I'm so loving can you your travel outlook. with me and just read it out for me every time. Oh, that's <laughs> right. She's got a lot to say <laughs> to make it interesting. I hope it did, I did you justice. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah, he's here. He's here. So make sure we have your. We have plenty of questions that were sent in from the viewers for you today. Yes. So oh I, man, I'm excited. I know. You said bring. You said it now. <laughs> bring it on. You said bring it on bring last it on. time, uh -oh. and they did. People started. It's sending in their questions. Wow. So, woo. Okay. We got them. Wow. But, so, yeah. how you guys been doing? We've been good. It's been, been six good? weeks. Have yeah. you been a busy man since yeah. we saw oh, you last? Oh, yeah. I've been really busy. Fantastic. Been really, really busy. Mm -hmm. uh, working on a lot of things. I just did a commercial to my wife, produced and directed a commercial for. Uh, opportunities for people to hire me out at relationship parties. Wonderful. So, I like that. Or the ladies' night out, you know, mm -hmm. when you have those little parties. Wine, little the, ladies wine, the ladies together, and then they come together, and they all pick they your come brain. And, all and they pick my brain, yeah. Oh, I like yeah, that yeah, idea. Good. Yeah. I'm sure they get a lot out of that. Yeah. yeah. So you're available for people to uh, oh, yeah. have a. Absolutely. Relationship um, party. Yes, a relationship party. <laughs> I love Back in that. the day, it was, it was called a Tupperware party. Tupperware. Or something. <laughs> so you're the modern day Tupperware. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. That's I like yeah. it. I like that. A little that. more effective for the housewives, I think, than the Tupperware was. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, you mentioned yes. your wife, your yeah. beautiful wife, who's yeah. just so wonderful. And how yeah. long have you been married? Uh, we've been married for 20 years now. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, Moniz. Yeah. I know. Yes, yeah, give her a shout out. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's great. So yeah. Mr. Relationship obviously mm -hmm. knows a little thing about relationships here, <laughs> you know, holding that down so yeah. well. Yeah. 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 Did it take you a while to find the one that, you know, as far as relationships go? Um, yeah. I mean, the, the while, I mean, saying it took me a while was actually looking for what I knew I really wanted. So it took me a minute to actually find out what is it that I'm really looking for in right. a relationship. I see. And I think that that's what's really important is to really um, evaluate self and to find out what is it that I'm really looking for and be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think sometimes we're distracted by just the uh, symmetric symmetry of how a person looks. Yes. Um, or uh, the body shape and everything and not being uh, CPO sexual, you know, mm -hmm. and I think um, that helps as well. And um, CPO sexual is actually um, finding attractiveness in one's intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those who did not see the show last week, they may not have heard you explain scientifically how you break down um, relationships and, and what's behind um, just the initial meeting of someone. And also when we talk relationships, it's not just um, man, woman or, or, or mate. Mm -hmm. It's friendships as well and, yeah. and business relationships, just any type. Yeah, right? just, it's all that. just any type of relationships. So, this, so all your tools all, apply to all relationships, uh, to all relationships that we engage in. Every living, breathing creature. Creature. So even handling if even I'm animals. going, I'm going to um, the pharmacy to pick yeah. up, you know, prescription, and then you know you engage in this kind of tension moment. Mm -hmm. You can break down what could be causing that. What? How do you Absolutely. resolve that, and how that works? Absolutely. Because right now there is so much tension going yeah. on. I find yeah. you know people are really having a lot of conflict because we have a lot of different political views mm -hmm. um, yeah. to a level that I don't think people have seen in some time. Yeah, and so there's a lot of you, stress that's going on. Yeah. So right I'm just now curious, what would be your that, recommendation? You know, Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I really think um, I, I find myself doing the same thing, uh, um, obsessing of watching the television, watching the news a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, because I, I can imagine some people are in situations where they're really worried about whether they're going to have insurance or not. Right, right. Thank goodness of what just recently yes, happened. Trump care failed. And uh, <laughs> did, did you guys feel sorry for Trump? I didn't when feel it sorry at all. I felt sorry for the people who voted for him, <laughs> thinking that he was really going to do something for them. <laughs> That's who I feel sorry for. Well, this is my point, and I'll leave it at that because I yeah. know we don't want to get too political, but Obama worked on that for a year and a half. Yeah. The Clintons tried it, the Reagans tried it. You know, everybody's been going after this health care. How can he come in in, what, two and a half, three weeks and totally come up with a new plan? Yeah. You can't rush it. Right. That's what I'm saying. So if, right. And I put on my Facebook, I said, if it don't fit, if it 
if it don't fit, don't force it, mm-hmm. as the song says. Right. You know. Right. Well, one yeah. little note on that, and this is something mm-hmm. that you can probably talk about from a scientific mm-hmm. point of view. Apparently, they did a huge survey of people, asked them what they thought about Obamacare, mm-hmm. and they all hated it. They were like, you know, they had yeah. all these bad things to say, the way that the media and the Republicans had, yeah. had said it. Yeah. And then they turned around and asked. The same group of people, mm-hmm. what they thought about the Affordable, Affordable Care, Care Act, Act, and they thought right. it was just wonderful. They yes. thought, oh, yeah. it's great. It's the same, it's the same dang thing. Yeah. thing. It's yeah. the same they thing, just and made... it just goes to show you how they twisted yeah. so much That's that, really that to put Obama's name on it made it mm-hmm. into a bad thing. Right. Yeah, now, absolutely, absolutely. So, and that, so and that was to manipulate, and, and mm-hmm. we've been using those techniques for a very long time mm-hmm. in America. Well, and... In other countries too, as well. If you really do research, you see these same diff- these same techniques are being used in in other countries, um, and 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 it was definitely just to manipulate. Mm. I would say, you know, people that aren't used to analyzing situations right. as much. Right. Um, yeah. And 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 that's what they played mm-hmm. on. Yeah. They, they, the they masses, played on. Basically, yeah. who that's, just yeah. follow. They just yeah. There's going to be that group. Follow. They don't check their own information. Yeah. To see what they think. So they yeah. don't even know what they think. Yeah. <laughs> because you know, uh, there are times where um, a term is called group thinker. Have you ever heard of that? You know, where you just join on the group without asking any questions, without right. analyzing right. anything. And that's they knew that that that's what they had. Mm-hmm. They had strict group thinkers. Mm-hmm. And again, I mean, I, I like the word group thinker because you're not thinking individually. You're thinking as the group. You're a follower. You're a follower. You're a follower. Yeah. You're a follower. And, and that's what they knew. They knew that, hey, we have followers and they're not going to think. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is say and they're going to follow. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're not going to ask yes any people, questions. Basically, it's the yes, yes people, people in life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's exactly yeah. what that's they it. did. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. say, we're there. Uh, whatever you say. Whatever you, know, you, whatever you yeah. from coming into yeah. America, remember? Oh, yes. Yeah. Until later like, they found yeah. out, you know, yeah, the, yeah. The, they found out it was the same thing. Right. You know? And I don't, you know, now they're, yeah, I'm, I, like I said, I feel bad for those who are waking up yeah. now to... Uh, and I would hope, party. I hope the, the, the ones that are really waking up would also stand up. Mm-hmm. And and um, uh, let me hear your words, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah. other people could hear you. Because I did hear a a uh, older woman, Republican. Uh, she was probably about sixty five or seventy, mm-hmm. and she said, "No, I've been fooled. Mm-hmm. I've been manipulated. Wow. And mm-hmm. you know, this is really a shame. And we need more people like that to exactly to, to, to speak, speak up, speak up, right. let to speak know up, and let happening. let other people know. So to take yeah. this to the relationship portion, how do people engage in their friendships and even their marriages, um, and the, you know their business relationships at work when this political you know um, tension is going on? And yeah, how do they because, continue to handle those relationships? Yeah, because you also have people that's in relationships, one that may believe, I mean, one that may be on the right side, right. and then one on the left. You know, so. Um, dealing with that, you really have to have conversations where we know, it, and we say it all the time, where, um, uh, what's the slogan, uh, you, we're, we'll have a conversation and you're right and maybe I'm right. We agree to disagree. We agree to disagree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, you just won $5,450. Put that in my bank account right now. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There comes to a point. Of course, you have to either agree to disagree to just keep the peace in to the keep relationship. The peace in the relationship. But yeah. is there is there a, a body language that comes with that? Because a lot of it's unspoken. Yeah. Because I even have that. I have people that have to deal with that. It I works. really am upset with their views. I just yeah. it's, but I just kind of go through the motions and just kind of let it go because yeah. that's their opinion. But to some degree, you can't just let all opinions just go. Right. You know, Absolutely. you have to confront it. And, and you have to confront it. I mean, otherwise, there's a lot of tension at mm-hmm. not only home, but at work, too, as well. Mm-hmm. And um, and like you said, the body language, because people are walking around, people are slamming things, people are throwing you things. Right. And that is a form of communication. I disagree mm-hmm. with what you're saying. I don't like your view. You know, so basically their body language is actually talking and saying the same thing. So, yeah, you're going to have to eventually confront it. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the only way. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to be tension. And those of you who are managers or supervisors, mm -hmm. too, if you uh, if you notice this, then, you know, I, I also uh, recommend that you actually bring the two together so you can actually have that talk. Mm -hmm. you know. Have an early diffusion of the situation. Absolutely. Say it again. Have an early diffusion of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning yeah. from you every yes. time yes. you come on the show. I'm just, you know, I'm just a student of Ralph's. <laughs> um, so whenever you go ahead and I have some questions and we want to get to it and you have some. Yeah. Um, well, uh, one of the questions that um, I had is um, love versus being in love. Mm -hmm. Is there a true difference? Because I truly believe there is, but is, yeah. it, is it just my thought process or is there something real to that? Because I've been saying it for years that there's a difference yeah. between mm. loving someone and being in love. And that's why a lot of relationships didn't work for me because mm. I realized I was not in love, but I care about the person, yeah. but I couldn't be with someone that I was not in love with. And I'll yeah. add to it. And when people say in a relationship, I love you. How do you interpret that? So what yeah. she said, and then a little of that, you yeah. know, what type of love you, is that? You know, that's a great question. Um, you know, some of the sayings when someone say, uh, when they're trying to break up too as well, they say, I love you, but I'm not yes. in, in love, love with you, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, actually, when we talk about the word in love and love, actually, in love should be placed in the, in the second stage of love. But we say in love identifying the first stage mm -hmm. of interacting with each other. So I say in love is easy to do. In love takes no effort. We fall in love very easily. In love have something to do with being infatuated, uh, chemicals, uh, social um, compatibility, you know, you, you're so excited that you met somebody mm -hmm. who's an attorney and you're an attorney and that gives you this alter state of consciousness, this euphoria as you learn more about the person, uh, when you find that you guys have a lot in common, when you also feel that chemistry, when you also feel um, something, you, when you say, wow, it's something about that person, yeah. right? Well. We all experience that. That's easy. You see, you didn't have to do anything mm -hmm. to, to get to that point, right? right? You didn't have to do anything to get to that point. Right. But true love, which should be called in love ah, now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? right. True love takes effort. Mm -hmm. That takes effort. There's mm -hmm. things that are happening in this process now mm -hmm. in true love. You're getting to see things that you didn't see at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, you're yeah. getting to learn things about each other, you know, the you're rose like, colored glasses, right? rose come colored off. glasses come off, <laughs> right? You know, some of the chemicals start dying down, <laughs> right? You no longer experience the philoethylamine, the vesopressin, the serotonin, the oxytocins, right? So those, those things start to go down and everything. And now it's time uh, to work at the relationship. A lot of people said, oh, you don't have to work at the relationship, mm -hmm. but you do because you have two different personalities mm -hmm. coming together to try one, to make one personality, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it is challenging when it gets to the point. Unfortunately, sometimes we think when we get to that point, and you remember the term a uh, long time ago was called the seven year itch. Mm -hmm. And now the studies are saying it's down to four <laughs> years. Like two. Well, no, some, know, right? some studies say two, two years, years, two, two months, well. I don't know, two relationship. month itch. Is there a two yeah. month itch? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some, That's my, my rule is that's two months. When you were drinking yeah. I am not going to be like, with you over two months if this is not feeling <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. You know, let me nip it. As we get older, that's right. That, that number shortens. Right. Well, you real know what? Quick, right? Well, you know, you're so right though. Yeah. Even when you're in the in, when you're dating, mm -hmm. uh, you're so right because it can be. You can make your own itch. You can make it a mm -hmm. two month or a three mm -hmm. month. It's an right? individual thing. It's an individual on, thing yeah. because mm -hmm. it also based on two really knowing who self. Mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. understanding you understanding what is it that I what is it that I learned from all of my relationships mm -hmm. and how can I now take everything that I learned from my relationships 
and break it down and analyze and say, wow, you know, these are my non-negotiable requirements, my needs and my wants. And these are the things that I'm going to look for in my interview for now mm-hmm. on. So I'll also know as an employer, because I also say for especially for women, uh, you're the employer. Us men, we're looking for the job. Mm-hmm. So if you're interviewing, because the bottom line, the bottom line, the truth, the real truth, the bottom line is actually up to the woman. Uh, she's the one who's mm-hmm. actually going to say yes or no. We're being interviewed mm-hmm. to try to get you know, the job. Hmm. So it's very important for a woman to mm-hmm. really understand what is it, who is it that you're trying to hire in your business. Mm. So you really have to know, it's no different than you actually going on an interview at a job. See, they are aware, very aware of what they're looking for when they hire. Mm -hmm. That's why some people don't make it, right? And that's how some people do make it. Yeah, so you yeah, we really, talked about this, I think, last time. Yeah, yeah to a degree, yeah. Yeah, so it's really, really important to understand that. Mm-hmm. So when we get to the true love, you know, this is the part that takes effort. Right. Mm-hmm. So you have to put the effort so in it, you know, yeah. and, 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 and the components to effort is, you know, one thing is we all talk about is communication, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And it's not just to communicate, but just like we were just talking about earlier about the business, you know, body language, you know, is a, is a sign of communication too right. as well, nonverbal communication, right? Mm-hmm. So it's important. you and say call me who's supposed to make is there any rule on that is there energy or women still supposed to have that traditional you know I'm a lady and you know a man's a gentleman and they approach you a certain way is there an energy that comes because he was aggressive that right away that woman should think that's just their persona is it temporary you know I mean how do you know that body language from the beginning yeah yeah and um, that's, you know, a, that's a great question too because w- w- what it is is to actually evaluate what makes you feel comfortable mm-hmm. because it, we have a certain thing in our mind uh, in our limbic system that uh, protects us from danger right mm-hmm. you know when you walk to the edge of a building you notice if you look over, you, you say, whoa, and mm-hmm. you come back. Well, that's the limbic system taking control because it's saying we don't want to die. <laughs> I mean, you can jump, but I don't. Right. Right. Yes, yes. So the limbic system part of our brain is always up. It's always there. It's always protecting mm-hmm. us. And 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 um, our, our subconscious is always up. Like when we sleep, we're able to hear someone break in. Right. Right. But yeah. we're it actually asleep. You. Right. And it mm-hmm. alerts you. It alerts you yeah. to danger, right? Okay. So we have to be more aware of our um, intuition of, of, of how we feel when people do that. That aggressive, right? yeah. If mm-hmm. somebody is aggressive, you can say, you, you, you're able to evaluate, you're able to say, okay, this person is aggressive that has no manners, mm-hmm. right? This mm-hmm. person is just, you know, that has no manners. I don't want to say anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, well, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right, mm-hmm. you know. And versus this person is honestly just being um, uh, confident or assertive. Right. Right. So you have to tell the difference. Exactly. Yeah. You know, which and and and, and trust me, um, woman, you you have that intuition, that discernment mm-hmm. that 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 helps you. You know, that amygdala is is definitely 
working at that particular time because mm -hmm. it's doing all kinds of things the minute a person walks up to you, even before a person walks up to you. And a, a quick story, mm -hmm. um, a female bear had her cubs and she was close to the water and she was um, gathering fish to feed her cubs. From two blocks away, she saw a male bear and she already knew his intentions before he even got close to her. Mm -hmm. So she went a block away from the Cubs ahead of time to fight him. So they wouldn't get close to the Cubs mm -hmm. because the bear most likely would kill the Cubs wow. and then try to attack her or some other. But she knew that. So mm -hmm. all living, breathing female creatures have that. Mm -hmm. You have to tap into that and be more mindful and more aware mm -hmm. of that feeling that you have. How does this person make me feel when they come around me? And when you have that feeling, don't ignore that feeling. This is part of a gift that you store into your files as to who I am and how I evaluate people that comes around me. Right. People that comes because we have when we say. That spirit, when we say that spirit, scientifically, uh, these, are, these are components of what a spirit is. Uh -huh. This is what God has given us. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about spirit, how do we measure that? What is happening when we say, oh, you know, something told me not to go yeah, to this right, store. Right, exactly. And then I went to yeah. this store and they right. robbed it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would have been there. I've, right, you know, that right, inner that, feeling. That, yeah. that you inner listen, feeling. Yeah. All of those. So when you say the term mm -hmm. inner feeling, what is that? What is that? What's happening? What's the inner feeling? See, so when you say inner feeling, see, we have we have titles for these things that we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. And so scientifically, we're talking about the what? The amygdala that's warning us. That's okay. part of what the spirit is doing. What's the amygdala? Let us the, know. The, the amygdala, amygdala is part of the brain. It's, a, okay. it's the part in the brain um, that, 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 that alerts us like the uh, fight or flight, uh -huh. right? So okay. when something is happening as an emergency, if it's a fire, yeah. uh, if you hear a gunshot, right? So you hear a gunshot, for one second, you will stop yeah. and the information goes into our frontal cortex mm -hmm. and it's 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 evaluating. What was that? Mm -hmm. And it says, oh, that was just something falling in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Wow. I thought it was a gunshot. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And then um, your body, because when you hear this and you think it's something dangerous, uh, at this particular time, your sympathetic nervous system starts to uh, it, it starts to shut down things. Mm -hmm. It shuts down your digestive system. Mm -hmm. It uh, raises your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. It raises your sugar level. It gives you yeah. sugar mm -hmm. for energy so you can run or so you can fight. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So it starts. It, it prepares all of its equipment, its armor. It's, uh, uh, you know, guns and bullets and everything yeah. inside your body, you know, it says, OK, you know, we're at war. I think we're going to, you know, we're going to fight. We're going to yeah. fight or we're going to run, you know, so let's prepare ourselves mm -hmm. for it, you know, and that's what's protecting us, wow. you know, the amygdala. So and is that the same as our instinct as well. Is it the same? The exact same. Movement? So an aggressive person that comes to you, same. same reaction, same feeling. If it makes yeah. you feel a certain way. If it makes you feel a certain way, feel. pay attention to it. If yeah. you feel. Yeah. Yeah. If you feel if that if it's uncomfortable, right. that's it working because okay. mm -hmm. remember every time we come uh, to uh, in, close to each other, uh, one of the greatest gifts that God has given. See again, it goes back to it's our spirit, really, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, because when I say science as well, it's just a discovery of what God created. Mm -hmm. Some scientists don't want to go to that level because they want to take credit for everything and just believe just only in the logic, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, so, so the thing is, is what we have to understand is that whenever you come close to another human being, the body instantly starts reading the person instantly. Mm -hmm. And when it's reading the person, it's also smelling the person. It's smelling the person's DNA, mm -hmm. the immune system. It's trying to see if I can sense something different about this person, dangerous about this person. Mm -hmm. And we pick it up, you know, so that's one of the components of our spirit 
that's working for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it, it makes Indeed. total sense. Indeed. It makes total sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know we're running long time. I want to make sure we get to some of the questions from our viewers I have here. Okay. And please, viewers, if you have questions, send them now. We are watching them here on a monitor. So if you present a question to us. And hi, Danny Deloitte. I see your comments there. Hi, Wayne from Australia. Every oh, week he yeah. tunes in from Australia. Australia. So I'm I used to the fact it's around, what, 1240 in Australia? Wow. <laughs> I, 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 I know, yeah. He always afternoon. tells us what time it is in Australia. <laughs> so good afternoon from Australia to you. And um, Zerny says love is a universal effect, mm-hmm. law of attraction. Mm-hmm. Um, goodness, the screen is not giving me a full view here. Um, is it steam or ice? Love comes in a var- in various mm-hmm. degrees, but the mm-hmm. same substance. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why this is. I think the screen is. Too oh, big. I see. You're kind of comparing it like water. Water yeah. is ice. Is steam. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the same. Things, yeah. So different he, he, components. He, mm-hmm. Right. He says, but the same substance in different look conditions. Mm-hmm. Hate is a is a lowest degree of love. Opposition. Both are an exchange or lack of energy. We control the thermostat. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. We definitely, and, and that's that's another thing too. You have the power. You you have the that energy that's in your hands. So you have to understand that you are in the control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Zerny, for your comment there. Yeah. That's Hope good. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to go to some sheets uh, questions that were sent in to us. Mm-hmm. Um, celibacy, premature or not? How do you handle sex and relationships? And what is the chemical um, thing going on there? We know there's a lot of chemical things going on with sex. <laughs> we want to try to keep them kind of short, the answer, so we can get through a few more. But okay. what do you want to tell so, people so about that question? feeling that hits you, the, the, the chemical breakdown um, uh, of the um, attraction, I guess, and the feelings of wanting so to have sex? Do you so, do it so prematurely or do you me. wait? Well, it just says, so it's not a direct question other than celibacy. Is, there, is it premature to have sex or should you wait And when you're having these feelings? Yeah, I think, you, I think you should wait until you actually feel that this is the right person that you should do something with. Yeah. I think you should also wait, spiritually speaking, if that's what you're waiting for as mm-hmm. far as trying to find a husband, mm-hmm. right? But chemically, um, the, the, you know, I know the science of it and, and the, the feelings are there. How do you control oh, that? Oh, yeah. Well, the feelings are definitely there, but the only way that you can control that is not to put yourself in certain situations mm-hmm. because you could be celibate. You could be uh, practice celibacy, but if you put yourself in certain situations, the chemicals are going to always be there because they're not a, the celibacy. The thought of being celibate is not the, the chemicals could care less. Right. <laughs> 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 they're they're not they, agreeing with you, right? They're going against the grain. Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, what's they're going like, what's on? wrong with you? So you're gonna still have those same feelings. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's how do I control those those feelings? And mm-hmm. and and you know, it, it it's gonna have to be your own technique that you're gonna have to use. Yeah. You know, because you know one person is different than the other. One person is yeah. stronger than right. the other. Right. Because somebody said, "Hey, I'm celibate, but I." messed up and And isn't that similar to like anyone who has a certain types of addiction like there can be people mm-hmm. who that's right are alcoholics they they're they're good they know that's that right. they don't drink absolutely some could go to a bar and have a, a coke and be and drinking right. and with their friends and not phase them at all that's right and there's some that if they even smell it they mm-hmm. know they're in danger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. absolutely so it's the same thing if you don't have self-control mm-hmm. when it comes to sex i mm-hmm. guess you need to know like you said don't put yourself in a situation that would uh, make the chemicals that's right. Or take your common sense. That's or right. Whatever, whatever your intention. That's right. Because you do have that power, right. but you don't know. Sometimes you just don't know how strong you are until it mm-hmm. actually right. presents mm-hmm. itself. Right. And then you may realize that you're not as strong as you thought you were mm-hmm. and after the act happens. Wow. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's so important. And that's why I really love you, ladies, uh, to 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 uh, have me on the show to talk about the science of it, because it's really important. There are chemicals that are stronger than us. Mm-hmm. And 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 we have. That's why it's good to try to uh, minimize your your chances of being with mm-hmm. someone that's going to release those chemicals, right. because they are very strong. I mean, yeah. just you know, oxytocin. 
Mm -hmm. uh, dopamine is just as strong mm -hmm. as, uh, twice wow. as strong as cocaine, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so. That's and doesn't that yeah. always come in the form of an ex-boyfriend somewhere right. that you know is yeah. no good right. for you? Yeah. Like exactly. that person is the one that will release those Re chemicals yeah. and yeah. make Yeah, you because when you're so yeah. addicted to him. If it's that type of If right. that's that type of relationship. Yeah. And if you're right. so addicted to that person, all it takes is just to come close to that person. Mm -hmm. And all it takes is just a touch. You know, because once you touch oh, that yeah, we person, got on that. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. we talked we oh. talked about that. Well, you know, what's really yeah. funny. And I, I used this. I learned this from our last time around when you mm -hmm. were talking about the kissing. And I was mm -hmm. watching a show the other night. And it's a thing where the the ex of the woman is the brother of her her current husband but they still have he told he still has feelings for mm -hmm. her and they were put in a situation where it was like life threatening and it was almost they got close and i kept thinking <laughs> don't kiss don't kiss because i knew yes. if they yeah. did, was this I a comedy you. no it that's was so a funny. 24 legacy i gotta say oh, that's oh, a great okay. show funny. okay but you they, knew it would be in yeah, trouble yeah. yeah and it was like that because yeah. you could see the chemistry but yeah. you know that you know she she loves her husband but the brother you know Apparently, she walked away from him to go yeah. with the brother. And yeah. in the history, we don't know the story. But I could, I knew when they were in this close situation, <clears throat> I kept saying, don't kiss, don't kiss, don't kiss. And thankfully, she, you know, she was able to tear herself and walk away. Yeah, yeah. But I knew, because normally in real life, that's what would happen. If they kissed, then it would be all over. Oh, right, right, right. exactly. Had sex, and then it would be, and then it would yeah. be a whole nother drama. Yes. Now, it may yes. still happen in another episode, but <laughs> last night, she saved herself, and I was proud. <laughs> and those viewers, don't use this excuse of the chemical makeup. That's why you did it. No. <laughs> right. It's no you know, longer just the alcohol. You can't, you can't use that, right? It's yeah, yeah. so with dopamine. Dope, 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 the dopamine. Yes. Right. Yes. We should yes. do a song about it. It's the, yes. do, 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 the dopamine <laughs> that made me do it. Um, okay, so another question from a viewer. Uh, 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 yeah, the devil uh, no longer has reign. I know. Over the um, should women be do do women need to be aggressive? How do they flirt with their legs crossed? <laughs> hmm. So without being overly Actually, actually, uh, women uh, flirt first. They're actually, mm -hmm. through their body language, they're actually sending out frequency. They're actually sending out um, body language uh, signals mm -hmm. to the male. Uh, what it is, is for the male to pick up the signal mm -hmm. that, um, one, I am available, I am single, I am fertile. And um, <laughs> then, oh, for some, it's just yeah, so basic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, we're but, here for a mature audience <laughs> too. Yes, yes, that that is some of the right. mm -hmm. signals that are actually yeah. going on at right. that time. So, learning body language, you could see that mm -hmm. uh, a friend of ours, uh, I mean, a friend of mine, and I, we uh, used to do research, and we used to go to bars and clubs, and we would just sit there and watch people. <laughs> and it was just amazing. Once you are aware of the body language, um, that uh, women are sending out saying, "Hey, come over, come over," wow. and it's really amazing when you see it. You go, "Oh my God, yeah. she's, dude, dude." <laughs> She's sending it. Right? Like over you said like, anyone. You <laughs> said anyone, anyone of y'all. <laughs> what y'all? Do y'all see this? And what's amazing <laughs> is, uh, and, and, and yeah, sometimes oh five people, five men will see it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the one who, what, the alpha the, male that'll yeah, make the move or what, yeah. what makes the one right, go? Right, 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 right. The one that's just overly, like what we said before. Yeah, yeah the, the one like that would approach the, you with the, the, just the, the aggressive hey, hey, hey. one. It's always the aggressive yeah, one. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, you actually make the first move. A lot of women, you know, they ask that question, you know, is it okay if I make the move? But you actually do I mean that's just by the laws of nature mm -hmm. that you know if you if you uh, research any other living breathing creatures on National, National Geographic animals and things like mm -hmm. that females are going to uh, send off uh, it, it, if not pheromones uh, body language to say you know come over right mm -hmm. and um, especially like doing ovulation too as well mm -hmm. you know so you're gonna so the female body is just like totally amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, men aren't aware of some of those cues, you know, <laughs> unless they knew. They're the ones that need a laugh. Unless they right. knew more about body language. Okay, right, right. Know, but we're but, okay. So there's body language, and then there's mm -hmm. the but, though from the um, 
chemical makeup of your body standpoint. Mm -hmm. you're and chemical makeup. Mm -hmm. So there is something that happens when your mind is saying, ooh, I'm really interested in this person. Mm -hmm. There's something going and when mm -hmm. that makes your body start to kick in something and That's there's right. something that happens. And then, wait a minute, then sometimes it must ricochet off of something and bring the wrong one over because it's like, wait, no, no, not, not you. you. <laughs> Right. So maybe some well, that's exactly what happens. No, I don't want to dance with you. I'm but sending it is, over here. That's sending exactly what happens. Sending signals over there, so. and somehow it got this Sometimes it went over, there. but that is what happened. Okay. That does happen. That that's does so happen. Funny. That's why when you know you have so many people coming <laughs> on you, and you'd be like, oh god, right. Like, but you is. can't help it because, mm -hmm. especially too, doing ovulation. Um, it just goes willy nilly. It's, it's just it's out there. Yeah. So if a man walks by you too as well, he's gonna smell. It's he's gonna air. stop. You know, wow. and your body language too. We, uh, you know, well, one one <laughs> is it okay to to to, to give one a uh, body language for the men to see? Absolutely, yeah. tell yeah. it. Tell it. Yeah, I know, right? Give up the secret. We're not at our television station at public access anymore. We have no rules. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes if you see a woman who's playing with her hair. Nope, like I just did. No, no, you just. <laughs> I just went like no, this. And you know what? You, I do it every show, too. you know show what? Show. When she did it, and I said, uh oh But no, that's okay, not it. Okay, go ahead. No, what were we no, going to say about no. the women that play now, with their hair? Now, I don't mean just fixing okay. the hair and moving it. I mean somebody who's Twirling. stroking it. Who's stroking oh, it. Yeah, somebody yeah. who's doing that mm -hmm. and twirling it and just doing that. What What's really happening mm -hmm. is also... Uh, it's saying that she's lacking affection. There's nobody who's being affected. I mean, um, affectionate with her mm -hmm. throughout the period, throughout the day, throughout oh, the okay. week. You know, so she's actually satisfying her own self. Oh. You can also see people do the same <laughs> wow. thing if they're in school or something, you know, at work. And they're just constantly doing this. They're it's just the constantly. <laughs> the, the pen or the pencil is actually rubbing them. You know, because we love being wow. touched because touch is so important okay. when we touch and when we hug, uh, we receive we release serotonin. Mm -hmm. uh, touch is very, very important from the day you're born. Mm -hmm. A child needs touch. Uh, you know, when uh, pre um, premature uh, uh, babies are mm -hmm. in the hospital. They hire senior mm -hmm. citizens to come to the hospital mm -hmm. to actually hold the, the babies mm -hmm. and touch the babies. Right? 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So both get the benefit from it because mm -hmm. she's also touching and wow. she's being touched. So when you touch and when you hug, you release serotonin. And serotonin is very important for our bodies, mm -hmm. uh, especially when we're stressed or depressed. Because, you know, when you see some of the TV commercials about uh, the uh, medication is to help serotonin mm -hmm. and vesopressin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. we promised well. some questions, and I feel like we haven't gotten. So for those, we're going a little over to make sure we get a few in, I think, because we've only well, asked a few. Yeah. Um, so we, if we could do maybe a rapid fire way, you know, like a quick. And right now you had something too? Yeah, well, you had something. Yeah, Go ahead. I did have. Um, okay, so I have. Um, Okay, we did the that, we did, oh, there was one important one, hold on, of course, let me, forgive me for a moment while I just refer to my notes. The effect of alcohol in the body and its emissions was one thing that came up, is there oh, anything well, there? Can, just a short way we can yeah, do that maybe little. Yeah, can talk about that. Yeah, well you know, then. with alcohol, um, if you like going out to clubs or something like mm -hmm. that too, we have found that alcohol, you really have to be careful, for some reason, mm -hmm. uh, one man cannot carry the alcohol as much as the male can. Mm -hmm. So um, it has a major effect on you and then it will affect your decision making mm -hmm. uh, during that process. And um, we, our frontal cortex is the reasoning part of the brain. And you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's trying to reason and try, remember what I said earlier was that a gunshot or was that right, something that fell right. or was that a snake or was that a stick right and by the time it tells us oh that's just a stick then our sympathetic nervous system will reverse to the peril ner mm -hmm. uh, sympathetic nervous system and everything will come back yeah. will you know come right back so yeah. um we just yeah so we just have to be careful. i'm wondering are we actually doing what we want deep down you know people say i may be a little tipsy or intoxicated but i know what i'm doing i remember everything i'm doing so or is it actually something beyond that happens in their system that they're not focused like yeah said, it's, is it, their mind really still themselves focused? focused are they acting out their 
desires deep down or is it well that's a good question too because sometimes you you can be acting out and <laughs> if, uh, someone did the research when they did the song uh, mm. blame it on the alcohol <laughs> Because yes, <laughs> sometimes what we're doing is dropping our guards when we become mm -hmm. um, intoxicated, uh, when our minds be, get into the state of euphoria. So then we are releasing things that we've always wanted to do mm -hmm. or always wanted to say. You know, and, and when you hear people say, well, those ends, those yeah. Negroes, right. you know, but another, he's like, this is what you've always thought, you know, uh, but this liquor yeah, right. caused you to let it out. Let it because out. Liquid courage, they call it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Is there something to combat that, like maybe suck yeah. on a lemon? I don't know. Yeah. You know, something they could drink or take or something that changes that chemical balance. Yeah, and drink water before that. you drink. Yeah. Have you used to just said no. What did you say? A glass of water before you drink. Um, well, that'll help the water. breakdown of everything. That's right. A yeah. glass, glass of water of before, water before you drink. Before every drink. Before every drink. Okay. Wow. A glass of water. Oh, well, yeah, I did absolutely. have a glass before yeah. this, and, and I had so, a, I had water as well. We so yeah. we're doing good. Now I don't know if this is this might take be too long. Might be for another time. Mm -hmm. But I had one about the. Um, the soulmates. Now, mm. which one is quicker to talk about? There's the soulmates. Is it true? Do you mm -hmm. have just one or can you have multiple soulmates <laughs> in a lifetime? The other one was about platonic friends. Can men and women really be platonic friends? Yeah, soulmates. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you. that would really be unfair to actually meet a soulmate at age 20. Your husband goes to war and unfortunately he gets shot and dies. Yeah. You're at you're 20 years old. Mm -hmm. So what do you do now? You, you I mean, right. you pretty much would like kill yourself. Some people, yeah, they feel like life would be over. Right, never life would be again. over. They'll never love They'll again. Never have a family. They'll yeah, be over, but yeah. no, uh, that just would be cruel, and 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 I don't think that that's how God created it. Uh, yeah, you know, exactly. uh, you could. You, you could definitely find your soulmate. Okay, again, when we talk about soul, we're talking about spirit, right? Mm -hmm. So again, when we talk about spirit, how do we measure that scientifically? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about soulmates, mm -hmm. right? How do we measure soulmates uh, scientifically? The major histocompatibility complex. And that is the part of us that when I mentioned we smell each other, we smell DNAs, and they're trying to see if we have the opposite match, a match. Mm -hmm. That we could that that the body could say, hey, this is a perfect person that we can actually have a child and we can have a perfect child. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that is part another component of our spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's a combination. And that's when we talk about the word chemistry mm -hmm. and we say we have good chemistry. Mm -hmm. So do you only have chemistry with one person? So when we talk about the combination, you know, uh, you know, like, you know, opening up the combination. Is that only one combination? There's several combinations out there. You just haven't ran into them. Mm -hmm. right. Now, sometimes we choose not to date again because that was the love of my life. And I just don't want to bring another soul into my body right now. Mm -hmm. I prefer to just live forever with that with that with that that memory mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't want to bring another person in and that's that's a that's a decision that you actually make mm -hmm. look even though you're married even though you're married and you have a relationship or you or you're in a serious relationship you can go somewhere you can go out of town on a business trip and you can actually run into somebody that have that chemistry mm -hmm. and you can actually feel that chemistry you can say to yourself oh my god <laughs> What is it about this person that's making me, you know, right, or the yeah. person touch you when you go, oh, right. exactly, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, my God, you know. Mm -hmm. So then it goes back to our will right. that God gave us, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that strength, right, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as to, okay, I felt that, but I'm not going to put myself in a situation because he or she may say, you know, hey, that was really a great conference today. You know, what are you doing later? Why don't you come <laughs> by and have it just... Come yeah. by to my hotel oh, yeah. room. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, 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 and it's in drink. But you know you felt that chemistry. So avoid mm -hmm. it. You know, mm -hmm. so avoid it. But that would be a person mm -hmm. that you could 
have a relationship mm -hmm. if this relationship in another circumstance, in another if circumstance. both parties are available right. if both, if both right. parties was available right. yeah and carl gilliard has sent right. hellos and greetings to you your hey, friend your good friend carl, there carl, carl my brother so hi, carl. carl yeah yeah we love that yes. thanks for watching i know and then troy jenkins has said is desire more important than love we all we all have the desire mm -hmm. we all we all we all have the desire to be desired. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know how much money uh, the makeup industry, <laughs> perfume yeah, industry, right. clothes right. industry oh, yeah. make uh, Billions, be, to yeah. be desirable, mm -hmm. you know? So we all have that desire mm -hmm. to be desirable, to be in love, you know? So they're both connected because even in a relationship, we want to know that I am still desired. Mm -hmm. In that marriage, right. we want to know how do how do I appear to you now, 20 years later, mm -hmm. 30 years later, you know, and yes, we are going to change. We're going to get older. Mm -hmm. uh, things are going to happen. Men's stomach is going to, you know, <laughs> get bigger. You're going to lose your hair. Yeah. You know, you're going to gain weight, you know, so you want to know, am I still desirable to you, you know, mm -hmm. and we may have found when we first met 30 things about you that I really loved, you know, mm -hmm. and the great thing is, is that, you know, now it's down to 15, but I still desire you. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? But I still desire you. I love you. Okay. And that takes up the other 15. Yeah, that you yeah, yeah. I still desire you. So you're still desirable to me. You know, it's like, babe, you know, honey, your eyes are so beautiful. I will never, ever, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I will never, ever, um, uh, you know, find your eyes Oh, you know, so now part of undesired. that too, okay, part mm -hmm. of that, you know how sometimes the couples have been together for a long time mm -hmm. and like an older man will say that I still see you mm -hmm. as that young woman yeah. that yes. I married. Yeah. If that's true love, right? Mm -hmm. If they, they, no matter what happened to you, you know, you get gray, right. you get the wrinkles, you get older. But 50 years later, that's right. if he can look at you and say, I still see mm. the woman that I married, that's, that's true love, right? That's, 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 that's that beyond true love. desire. So that to that's me was true like love. desire. Because right. Right. You, you still want them, you know what I mean? But yeah. so whatever you desire Ooh, before and, might be lessened. And, and you have no you idea. Still still love you have them. no idea what effect that has on a woman when she would hear oh, that yeah. at, at 80 oh, years yeah. old. That oh, affects yeah. me now, to know. and I haven't heard it yet, but I, I, I want just, somebody just, to say just that. Just to know somebody it. says now, that Now, man, you know you. the key to right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just to yeah. have that said, yeah. you know, right. it lets you know, <laughs> wow. And it, and, it, and it comforts you, too, as well, because mm -hmm. sometimes we could be threatened, you know, and, you know, from other people or right. in yeah. society and everything. So I think it's really good. Um, and, and, and it's a part of like when you hear about the, uh, I think he said the laws of attraction, mm -hmm. uh, affirmation, you know, mm -hmm. it's important to let your significant other know that mm -hmm. I still desire you, Absolutely. you know, and, and those little things that you like about it, boy, those legs are still beautiful, mm -hmm. right? You know, man, I've always loved those feet and they have not changed, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the simple thing. And the simple yeah, thing. even the simple things, yeah. you know, um, you and it's so going. important. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, good. It's well, simple I, to I keep a relationship. So great. I wish we could be here, you know, all day. However, we know that uh, time flies and we all have. Uh, um. Have other things to do, it, including our guests. I know there. Yeah, one more. And our, and our yeah, Latanya Black Gilliard just says hi, my peeps. Hi to you. Hi. Um, hey. And oh, we did have a comment here. When a woman crosses her legs or messages, I'm a lover. I, Don't that, understand that. Yeah. Okay. No. You have to be clear with that one. Complete any, sentence. Yeah. It says sometimes when a woman crosses her legs, her messages quote, "I'm a lover." So I don't know. Uh huh. How you if your legs are crossed, you're giving that energy out. I don't know about that one. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't well, see any others. I don't know where. There must be a bar here. But, well, yeah. Well, on that, yeah, on that note, though, mm -hmm. um, we thank you so much. Yeah, thank for you. Coming. You always thank you. give thank such you. great information. And I'm sure that, you know, we're going to see more comments later. Oh, they're going to come. It's not going to stop because yeah. you are the Carlin Raynell Show relationship expert. Yes, and, yes. Um, approximately every six weeks, six <laughs> to eight weeks, she'll be yes, coming back. Yes. 
to so um, answer new bring questions, those questions in. <laughs> and hit new topics and information. So we, we look forward to that, and we're happy that you're ha you have this relationship with us here. Yeah, I'm. Happy you have too. a relationship with us um, here. Yes, yes, doing absolutely. this. So that's a form absolutely. of one. We have great energy and because this would energy. not work, right? That's the energy that you feel. Yeah. That's the energy. That's that chemistry. Mm -hmm. Again, it's you know, it, it doesn't have to be just a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, these things that we're talking about is just everyday life. Exactly. When you come around someone and we talked about the eye language, right? When mm -hmm. you're being interviewed and just mm -hmm. paying attention to, mm -hmm. you know, that you could tell if somebody really uh, is into you, if somebody really, you know, likes you or like what you're saying. You know, it's very important to pay attention to that. Yeah. On that note, just real quick, I know Reno's like mm -hmm. trying to wrap this. I'm the one going over all the time. But how, yeah. on that note, though, about the conversation, how quickly is that? You know how they have people line up at a table and they sit and have that, you know, 20 oh, minutes. The speed dating. The speed dating situation. How, yeah. how, how effective is something like that in releasing that energy that you need? Can you determine enough in that quick moment? Um, you know, do people need to go on these long, you know, one and a half hour dates? Or really, can you get everything you need to know in a short period of time? Not everything you want to know. Well, enough to know if this is something to, to continue yeah, to Yeah, if, if you ask the right questions, if you ask the right questions, and that's why it's so important for you to know you. So mm -hmm. when you go in there, because a lot of people that are actually going like to speed dating, mm -hmm. they're, they're thinking of like, you know, let, let's have fun. Let me just ask questions and have them to ask me questions. Mm -hmm. But they're not you, you got to be serious when you go in there to mm -hmm. ask a question. Mm -hmm. So when you really go into a speed dating event, you really have to know exactly what you're really looking for mm -hmm. uh, and the reaction out of the people. You know, next week, let's just talk about that because yeah. because like a first what's, date. It'd be good to give tips on that first on date. That first what, date. What's effective in a first date? What's because effective? we don't need that second, third, and fourth. The That's men right. would appreciate yeah. it who are paying for that dinner. That's right. And the women, and you, you know, who have other things they need to be date. doing as no well. No waste in time. No yeah, waste yeah, in time. Yeah. So, and, you know, yeah. and what, what's really good about that, too, the first date, is when you ask the question, so let's talk a little bit, a little bit more about body language, too, mm -hmm. as, as well. What do I look for when I ask you that question? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what part of the body do I look at when I ask you that question? How do I ask that question, mm -hmm. too? And if I get an answer, let me evaluate why this person may have answered it that way, because you might just be shy to answer it or shame mm -hmm. to answer it, yeah. right? So I have to evaluate that in that way, mm -hmm. too, as well. Trust me, in business, uh, a lot of people, a lot of corporations are very aware of how they ask right. you a question when it comes mm -hmm. to body languages. They're not just looking for what you say. Uh, the body is also talking. Mm -hmm. So we talk about 70 to 90 percent uh, mm -hmm. is body right, language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're actually looking for your body language as well. Yeah. You know, because it's no different than a job interview, like you yeah, said no earlier. No different than a job Same interview. Same type of yeah. And, and okay. that's something I want to tell you about the amygdala. amygdala one one thing about us, uh, our body language, that's something that you cannot, you cannot, that's something that you cannot, that's something that you cannot hide. <laughs> okay. I don't care how much right. of an you actor yeah, you are, yeah, you that is something that you cannot hide. Yeah. It is something that you cannot hide. And even like, again, I go to 24 because I've been watching the show. They had a, a, like a terrorist um, interrogating him mm -hmm. and he made certain comment and then they went back and they had it on the screen and they had this thing within the eye and was going in the eye to see mm -hmm. is he telling the truth mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. and it was something like no matter how you know tough or whatever the thinking you're supposed to be a professional at whatever you do, you would have to be like inhuman yes, right. to be able to hide certain things. Because the limbic system doesn't know how to lie. The limbic yeah. system mm -hmm. only knows how to protect you. And it only knows how to tell you what's going on around your surrounding of your world. Okay. So it's not there to lie for you. It's only there to tell you the truth about what's happening. Hmm. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, what that is. I like that. Like. See how oh, we yeah. keep well, talking. I, I like so that the minute, most. So out basically, of we have to invent some kind of little thing that when you go on the first date, you just put that thing on their head. And well, <laughs> how do you questions. notice it? That's what, what form does it come out? It, does it come out in conversation, in demeanor, um, words, or all I mean, the above? All, I mean, all the above. All the above. Body okay. Language. Yeah, Everything. all so, the above. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I love it. Yeah. I, I think we just ended on a high note. That yes, was a good tip. Yes, yes. To start Excellent. learning because we don't Excellent. like liars. <laughs> and we like to identify them and keep it moving. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. <laughs> right. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Well, thank you so much again um, for being with us yeah. and sharing. Yes. Toast to, the, yes. toast yes. to, to the. a wonderful number two interview with Dr. Rial yes, Sims. Yes, we thank, thank him for, for his expertise us. and thank his you, wonderful you, scientific you. knowledge and chemical breakdown and knowledge on uh, relationships and the body. Yes, Once again, thank you. I'll be applying that as I watch wonderful television. I got to see this program that she's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great show. I got to see that. I'm giving because, a plug. You know. And I had kind of missed out. I did a binge this week. Um, like after getting a long day, mm -hmm. I'd have to put at least an hour in yeah. to watch because I like yeah. the original 24. Yeah. I don't know if you all watched it, but if you yeah. watch 24 Legacy, it is mm. the Shazam. Oh, can I mention I'm going to London? Okay. Uh, May. Uh, well, it's a, it's, uh, it's an event, um, the highly uh, fabulous women, and it's in London, and it's on May the 28th. So, okay, uh, and so, that's what it's called? So any of my London. Mm -hmm. Anyone in yeah. London that watches us? Okay. We do have a couple couple people yeah. that have commented that are from yeah. London, so. Oh, yeah, great. Where great. can they find so your information? Um, they can actually go on the Facebook page or to uh, Pat Patricia. Highly fine, uh, fabulous, and you could see it on. So on your Facebook well. page or Patricia's, mm -hmm. or, okay. or Patricia's, okay. yeah, as well. So okay. you see his Facebook page is posted on ours, and um, yeah, go Dr. from there. Ryan, yeah, and you can also Ryan. see on my banner too that um, we have some a uh, uh, love and neuroscience summit that we oh, just nice. finished like that. too as well. Okay. And um, it's an institute that I teach at, and okay. um, one of the founders is. Uh, uh, Shante Taylor, and mm -hmm. she created the Neuroscience um, Institute wow. and um, Optimi, Optimi. And um, you could go there too, mm -hmm. and um, there's some things there too that's very interesting. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah. And the Carla and Raynell show can be found on YouTube as well under Carla and Raynell Talk Show. Uh, please follow our Facebook page, which is Carla and Symbol and Carla and Raynell uh, Show. Mm -hmm. And um, what else? Anything else? I'm leaving out. Uh, Spread love and kindness absolutely. and make someone smile today. That's, right. <laughs> That's it. Yes. So thank you. We yes. give our cheers and we walk off. So once okay. again, cheers to you. Thank you. Thank you everybody yes. for tuning in and we'll see you next week, Wednesday at 5 30. Yes. yes. We will. Oh. Yeah, we gotta we gotta unclip because we're all unclip. clipped in and Bye. bundled down. Bye everybody. I know. Have a great rest Bye. of the week. Love you. See you later. Love your support. Bye. <laughs> I see the love. I know.